only way we go is with Waco. Well, here we find ourselves at Bramwell's Campground. We're at the base of the OTL, the Overland Telegraph Line. What I'm going to cook up this evening is brandy bananas minus the brandy. I haven't got any brandy for, to flambe it, so we'll just make up a caramel sort of a sauce with the ingredients that I've got. Throw in some super ripe bananas, and gobble them down, maybe whip out some ice cream out of the Waco as well. Let's get into it. All right, these ingredients are a couple of ripe bananas here, one each for me and Jace. We've got some orange juice, doesn't really matter what you use. Some sugar, like I said, full of that goodness and energy that we need. And some more good stuff, a bit of butter as well. All those combined together into the pan will make a delicious sauce. Now this is one of the easiest desserts and the most delectable desserts ever known to me anyway. So. You'll just get the gist when I taste it and when Jace tastes it, how good it really is. All right, let's get into it. Now you don't want too much heat, so I'm gonna turn that down like yay. Now, all these three ingredients that I'm gonna put in, you have to put in equal amounts. So that's a humongous spoon of butter. Let's put in two big whopping spoonfuls, I reckon. Same amount of sugar, brown sugar is probably the go. One, two, three, that's about the same amount as the butters that's gone in. Give that a bit of a stir through. And then last but not least, the orange juice. One, two, three. Now, I told you it was very, very simple, didn't I? All you gotta do is just keep stirring that. It is absolutely crucial at this stage that you do not burn this because it will caramelize very quickly and end up burning and sticking on the bottom of your pot or whatever you use it. So we'll keep that stirring until most of the sugar has actually dissolved. Always taste it. Yeah, that's good. Just place them in there very gently. And all we're looking at doing is cooking these probably for a minute or so either side. After about a minute or so, when you think they're sort of softened through on that side, you're gonna carefully turn them over without breaking them all up if you can help it. Give it another minute and then they're pretty much ready to be served and eaten. Alrighty, they are softened through. It's been about a minute just over, so we'll carefully turn those, and then we'll reach for the ice cream, because it's a pretty good stage to be uh, getting that out, sticking her on the plate, and then by the time those uh, bananas are cooked through on that second half, we'll be ready to gobble it up. Beautiful ice cream out of the freezer here. Don't go light on the old ice cream. Everyone loves the ice cream. It's ready to dish up. Ready as it'll ever be. And look how soft those bananas have gotten there. We we'll just carefully spoon those onto there. Now, JC boy, where are you, mate? What's up? Desserts are ready. Taste it. What do you call that? What are you calling it? Well, brandy bananas without the brandy. There you go, with ice cream. So you're calling it brandy bananas, but there's no brandy. So what are you calling it? Just banana. <laughs> bananas and ice cream. Mate, it's gold. It's literally gold. And so easy to make, even when you're out camping. 